Well, a very hearty good afternoon to everyone. At the outset, wish you all uh, a happy National Science Day. Friends, as you all know, uh, today we are uh, celebrating National Science Day all across our country. Dhenkanal Science Center, a unit of National Council of Science Museums, Ministry of Culture, Government of India, is celebrating this week-long Science Day 2022 since uh, 22nd February. And uh, today is the uh, culmination day. For uh, students, we have, even for the general public, we have organized several programs. My experiments uh, with science a uh, toy making workshop for uh, students, science toy making, online teachers training program were organized day before yesterday. And even today, as a part of Ajaydika Amrit Mahoshav, we have inaugurated a unique exhibition titled 75 Years of Independence. India's achievement in science and technology. Uh, this exhibition was inaugurated uh, by our honorable collector, uh, Mr. S. K. Sethi, in presence of uh, the regional director of Indian Institute of Mass Communication, Adenkanal, uh, Professor uh, Mrinal Chatterjee. Uh, more than 200 students were present. And uh, to commemorate this National Science Day, uh, this year theme is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for a Sustainable Future. So to deliver the talk we have with us today, Professor uh, Kumar S. K. Bharadwaj, sir, is the head of department, uh, Department of Chemistry, Ravensa University, Katak. Uh, Welcome, uh, Bharadwaj sir, uh, for this uh, online session. Uh, I'm sure Bharadwaj sir will uh, enlighten us on the theme of this year, befitting this occasion. Uh, before we start, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor Bharadwaj sir. Bharadwaj sir holds the position of reader at the Department of Chemistry. He has more than 10 years of teaching and research experience in the extended field of uh, materials chemistry. He has 25 publications in peer review journals to his credit. He completed a PhD in the year 2007 from IIT Kharagpur. The thesis work was based on studies of uh, supermagnetic particles. His postdoctoral work at Kaiser, South Korea, consisted of a vapor phase deposition of a silicide nanowires, their ensemble magnetic property and a single nanowire magnetoresistance. He further moved to research center for integrated quantum electronics at uh, Hokkaido University, Japan, where he worked on semiconductor nanowire growth on pattern structure and single nanowire lasers. He has special interest and Bharadwaj sir is quite popular uh, for this. Uh, he has special interest in popularization of science through community outreach programs, which he does uh, in several times in the local electronic and print media and uh, Odisha also it has been published. His current research interest is focused on designing heterostructure materials for energy-related 
electrocatalytic processes. Understanding the descriptor, uh, descriptors that control the activity of the catalyst, uh, development of electrochemical uh, biosensors. Even several publications, I'm having a long list, but I'll uh, name few of them. Uh, with uh, Professor B.D. Mahapatra, uh, Professor Hota, uh, Professor Mantri, Professor Behera, Professor uh, Fadhi, and he has published Understanding the Oxygen Evolution Activity Trend in Doped Graphene Hybrids, like this, uh, several. Uh, I'm not going to the details uh, because you have a time constraint and uh, once again, welcome Bharadwaj sir and uh, I request you, please enlighten us on the theme and uh, uh, this uh, lecture will be delivered in our social media pages as well as in our uh, headquarters um, social media pages also so that it can reach to a uh, larger section of the society. Now, uh, Bharadwaj sir, uh, the platform is yours and I'm sure uh, his deliberation will enlighten all of us. Uh, Bharadwaj sir, uh, now the platform is thank, yours. Thank, thank, thank uh, you. Please. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, I'm thankful to Dinkanal Science Center for giving me this opportunity on this uh, day of National Science uh, uh, National Science Day, uh, that is 28 February, to discuss on the theme of today, uh, this year's theme. Uh, and uh, I, I would like to go to the presentation directly. And uh, Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Can you see, sir, the presentation? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, okay. I once again welcome everyone for uh, uh, today's uh, uh, for national science day uh, the today's theme is integrated approach in science and technology for a sustainable future uh, but before going to the uh, theme of this uh, this year's uh, national science day i would like to um, focus on why we celebrate national science day and uh, it is Is the, is slide, the slide moving? moving? Uh, no, sir. Slide is not moving. Make it full screen. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. So. Yes, yes. Now it is, is it moving now? now? Okay. Yeah. So, um, it is actually we celebrate the uh, National Science Day uh, uh, because of the discovery of Raman's effect. And uh, no one but uh, Sir uh, C. V. Raman who discovered, who discovered a special, a special effect, effect of light, of light. Uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, this, this uh, special effect, effect of light is named after him only, only. and, and uh, uh, it, it is, is uh, for that, that uh, this this is this is, this is published, published in 1928, 1928 in nature, in nature. His, his work is published, is published. and, and uh, uh, i have I put have a put very a famous quotation that yes. ask the right yes. questions and nature, nature will, will open, open the doors, the doors to, his to his secret. secret. And, and uh, he got, got the Nobel the Prize Nobel only in 1930. 1930. And, and of course, course in Bharat, Bharat, Bharat Ratna, he got in 1954. And, and he also he got also the got Lenin Peace Prize, Prize in 1957. 1957. So, so uh, just, uh, just uh, we, we, we need, need to understand, understand a, a bit about what is Raman effect. And here, here we can, we can see, see that, that there is an incident, incident light, light 
and when and incident, incident light, light falls, falls on a matter, matter then different, different phenomena, phenomena is observed, observed that is it absorbs it emits and, and it also scatters, scatters light, light. This Raman, this Raman effect is nothing but scattering, scattering of, uh, of uh, light by an by object. object. And, uh, and uh, once it scatters light, light, you can, you can see, see that there is an incident, incident light, light is, uh, 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 is a yellow, yellow color. color. And the and scattered, scattered lights, lights are also in yellow, yellow color. color. But, but some, some light, light is there, there which is red. red. And, and that shows that, that there is a change in wavelength or the frequency or the energy. So the scattered light can have, can have either, either the same, the same energy, energy of the incident light or, or it may have, have a different, different energy, energy than the incident, incident light. light. Uh, uh, actually, actually, Raman, Raman uh, discovered, discovered uh, that, that uh, 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 here, here you, you, can you can see, see that, that uh, from, from one energy, energy level, level uh, uh, the uh, light, light is going, going to the other energy level, level. they are they scattered are and there is, uh, and, and, and they, they come, come down, down again to the same energy, energy state, state. And, and this, this scattering is called relay, relay scattering. scattering. While well, the relay, relay scattering, scattering, there is no energy loss or energy gain during the scattering, that's an elastic scattering we say. That, that means, means uh, 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 no, no energy, energy loss are gain. The light, the light here that, that is incident is, is coming, coming out, out the, the, is scattered. Uh, 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 and the scattering, scattering is due, due to, to uh, because, because there is an uh, electromagnetic, electromagnetic field, field around, around every nucleus because electrons, electrons are moving around, around it. it. And, and that, that electromagnetic field is interacting with the light electromagnetic field. And that is why there is a scattering. And, the and the if the scattering is of same, same wavelength, wavelength, then that is relay scattering. scattering. If there is that there is an energy loss or energy gain, gain then, then that is Raman scattering. And, and Raman, Raman discovered, discovered it in uh, uh, 19, uh, 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 28. Uh, uh, here, here we will come, come to the theme of present this thing that science, science uh, technology, uh, technology, technology, and how science, science and technology, technology can really can help, help us in uh, 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 for, for a sustainable, sustainable future. future. Uh, uh, for, for the, for the, the students, students, I should in, I, I should I explain should it explain in this way. way. That science, that science is, is uh, 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 it, it investigates, investigates and it reveals the laws, the laws that, that are operating, operating in nature. nature. The, different the different laws that are operating in nature, nature the knowing those laws, laws understanding, understanding those laws, 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 or uh, uh, revealing, revealing those laws, laws of, of nature, nature is science. science. And, actually, and actually, what is technology? Technology, technology actually. Uh, uses that uh, knowledge, knowledge and, and uh, uh, it is it for is the for betterment the of the society, society for, for humankind, humankind it uses that, that knowledge, knowledge to build up machines, machines to, build to build up different, different things, things around us, us like, like this laptop, this laptop or, or computer or a house or, or anything, anything that we see around, around us is, is a technology, technology and, and knowing, knowing the, the uh, Knowing, knowing the, the uh, laws, laws that are, that are operating, operating in nature, nature how, how everything, everything is changing, changing how, how a, a um, uh, how, how a seed, seed is growing, growing to a tree, to a tree or, uh, or uh, why, why certain, certain reactions, reactions are taking are place. place. The, this, this is knowing the nature. nature. And, and uh, if, if I, I know, know the nature, then I apply it, and that is the technology. And there is a very uh, there is a relation between the science and technology. That actually science here I have made a picture for that. That science helps technology, and again technology helps science. That means when I when we know some uh, uh, laws that helps in building the technology. And once, and once we know, we know more, more machines, machines microscopes, microscopes, and, and uh, uh, we, have we have a lot of lot machines, machines, a lot of uh, uh, technology, technology around us, us that, that helps, helps us knowing, knowing the science, science that is that laws, laws hidden, hidden in nature, in, nature, in a more, in a, more in a better way. way. And that's, that's called their, their, they, they, have they have a dialectical, dialectical relationship. relationship. That is, uh, one is, uh, uh, one, uh, one reciprocates, reciprocates the other, other. One, one helps, helps the, the other. other. In development, development one, one develops, develops knowledge, knowledge and one and applies. applies. So, so knowledge, knowledge and its application, application. you can you say can science, science and technology, and they help, help each other, each other. out. out.
Here, yeah, I, I will give you an example, example of very, um, uh, very uh, uh, the first, first phase, phase of, of industrial, industrial revolution, revolution and, and development of modern, modern science. science. And, and uh, there, there are, are some, some key features, features uh, 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 that's, that's called, called specific, specific heat and, and uh, latent, latent heat. Specific, specific heat or heat capacity, heat capacity is uh, something, something that, that different, different substances, substances uh, were, were heated, heated to different, to different degrees, degrees by same, by same amount, amount of heat. heat. That means that if means I uh, give the same amount of heat to uh, water, water and alcohol, and alcohol. Or water, or water and a rod, rod uh, or a steel or a rod, rod, then, then they, they are heated to different degree. degree. Uh, their temperature rises, rises to different to degree. degree. That is, that called, is called heat capacity, capacity or specific heat. And, and what, what is, is latent heat? heat? Uh, latent, uh, latent heat is, is uh, uh, I have shown you that, that water, water in the liquid, the liquid phase at 25, at 25 degree centigrade degree is, heated is heated to water, water at 100 degree, degree uh, centigrade. And, and then I am giving some heat, heat but water, water at 100 degree, degree is getting is converted, converted to water, water, water to uh, 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 vapors, vapors to 100 degree. degree. That is that the is gas I have written, WH2OZ, it is at 100 degree. So, so what, what we, we see in the, in the second, second state, state that, that we, we give some heat, heat but, but there, there is no is change in temperature. temperature. That, is that is called, called the latent, latent heat. heat. And, and these, these two phenomena, phenomena uh, uh, where, where, uh, uh, we, so can we can explain, explain it as science. science. This, this is, is explained by Joseph Black, Black in 17th century. century. In, uh, in, uh, in 18th century, actually, it is explained by Joseph Black. Uh, he, he could get, get that, that uh, if that you give the same, same amount, amount, amount of heat, heat then, then different substances heat to different degrees. degrees. Uh, and uh, and uh, 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 this, this material, material property, property actually, actually helped, helped James James, uh, 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 James, James Watt, Watt to uh, 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 really uh, make, make the steam, steam engine, engine possible, possible, that is that more efficient steam engine. This is this the is steam engine, engine uh, that, I that I have taken, taken the picture, the picture uh, from, from a book. book. The, the steam, steam engine, engine uh, that uh, is uh, first, first innovated, innovated by uh, James, James Watt, uh, and uh, uh, this, one this one was, was demonstrated, demonstrated in 1782, 1782 and, and it was, was uh, possible, possible due, due to the, the knowledge, knowledge of latent heat. Uh, 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 here, here you can, can see that, that there is a big, big condenser, condenser and uh, 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 he used a separate condenser, condenser for cooling. Because, because when, when the vapor, the vapor cools, cools down, down at, at actually it, it uh, uh, again uh, uh, produces uh, heat and uh, uh, that was the problem, that was the problem. That was problem. Problem. Uh, So a separate condenser was uh, taken for, uh, um, is uh, actually designed by James Watt uh, to make this uh, steam engine uh, possible. So here we saw how science and technology, they helped each other. And you know that the steam engine make a complete revolution in the whole, uh, whole of industries come, come up with this one, what we call as industrial revolution. And that also helped us know the science in much better way science also uh, get uh, more impetus uh, in, uh, by this machine. So this is a very key uh, to understand the uh, nature, how science and technology uh, goes hand in hand uh, to build the knowledge system that we see today. And uh, this is actually the paper uh, I have taken up. This is the C. V. Raman's paper, and I have taken up this from Nature itself. And uh, Nature, it's uh, in volume 121. It is by C. V. Raman and K. S. Krishnan, uh, uh, and uh, uh, it is in 1928. This is published. Uh, uh, till now, there are 1,217 citations, and uh, 15,000 times that has been accessed. And uh, you can see from the very first line, if we assume that X-ray scattering of the unmodified type observed by uh, Professor Compton corresponds to the normal or average state of atoms and molecules, this is um, as there is a, uh, this kind of a change that is a scattering um, of light, uh, scattering of X-ray, 
was previously observed by Compton, and based on that, he tried it with uh, uh, visible light and uh, made a very successful demonstration of how visible light scattering, there is an energy loss and energy gain can occur in visible light. And, uh, but the, there was a great problem involved uh, in that. Uh, the, the, uh, he, he himself told that the new type of light scattering discovered by us uh, naturally requires very powerful illumination for its observation. It was a very weak signal and very powerful illumination was necessary, but that was not possible at uh, that time. So Raman spectroscopy, as we see today, in its application in different fields, was not possible then. So although we know knew the science, but it took almost 50, 70 years for practical application of uh, Raman effect that I have uh, uh, development of uh, Raman uh, spectroscopy. Um, I have given a timeline and uh, how it has uh, developed here. The intensity of scattered light is very weak relative to the incident light. There is no practical right light source for Raman spectroscopy. Uh, there, uh, in practical applications, we didn't have any light source. The invention of laser in 1960s provide the light source for Raman spectroscopy. So uh, Raman spectroscopy practically uh, made popular um, with, uh, with its instrument, as we know today, as Raman spectra, uh, uh, Raman spectroscopy instrument, which takes the Raman spectra of a lot of molecules, of a lot of materials uh, that was possible only by the uh, invention of laser in 1960s. And in late 1970s, microscopic Raman with an optical microscope equipped with Raman spectrometer appeared. And it was used mainly as an analysis tool. So as an analysis tool, it came, came only in 1970s. So you can imagine that it took almost 40 to 50 years so that a science translates into technology. And later, the advancement of CCDs with the digital cameras and video cameras, the performance of the detectors improved at one time, and it became possible to obtain spectral analysis results at one time, making it possible to significantly re reduce the measurement time. So the measurement becomes uh, very easy now. If you put a sample, the Raman spectra comes within uh, within seconds uh, and uh, it process within um, within a minute you can see the spectra so that is possible by this ccd uh, uh, that is the detectors uh, those are developed uh, in 1990s and later on so the development of spectrometer and the equipment has been downsized performance has been improved Maintenance has been simplified. Filters for removal of Rayleigh scattered light have been advanced and sensitivity has been improved. So now we see a lot of application of Raman spectroscopy. So uh, uh, it, it becomes possible that Raman spectroscopy becomes kind of a household tool for all researchers. And it is widely used now in the field of geology chemistry, physics, and also biology. So uh, we saw that how a science translates into technology. And again, this technology is giving more insight into the material we want to see and how they are vibrating or how their property is changing. So uh, we, we have a deeper eye to see the materials around us through Raman spectroscopy. So uh, now we come to the uh, theme in a much greater way. That is, uh, in present uh, scenario, uh, what we see that uh, we first discussed how science and technology moves hand in hand. And there is a 
sustainability issue now the, uh, there is a question that whether this art will sustain in its present form or not the, uh, there is uh, so much of pollution around us even living becomes difficult and uh, this growing uh, uh, pollution creating a sustainability as an issue and i have tried to uh, uh, pinpoint some of the some of the issues uh, involved in the sustainability so why sustainability is an issue if we analyze it and see it then we see that uh, there are untreated effluent from industry there is a lot of liquid coming out from industry and the industry is not treating it properly and then putting it in the rivers or uh, in the mainstream to the seas uh, and mm. this is creating a lot of pollution on the uh, uh, one hand and there is uh, uh, other hand we see that there is a lack of organized waste disposal and waste recycling we don't see a organized media to really waste disposal and uh, wherever possible we can recycle the waste and uh, uh, th th there is not much focus into these areas and uh, uh, we see that plastic has become a very essential part of uh, our life even the uh, even the laptop i hold it's a it's made up of mostly plastic materials but the uh, the danger is with single use plastics and the single use plastics and their uh, their littering is uh, the main problem and uh, on the other side we see that there are corrupt and unplanned cost construction practices uh, we we see that there are constructions going on every year you see that some roads are the same road is constructed maybe 100 times in 5 years so these are some corrupt corrupt uh, uh, construction practices or unplanned uh, uh, unplanned practices uh, that uh, that goes and uh, really uh, really kills the whole of the environment uh, around us and a major challenge that we see today even in the war like situation or war condition in the world that war has uh, has made the whole world is going to make the whole world the first yes. world war second world war and all the small wars that we see are uh, making uh, uh, is going for the, uh, the uh, making sustainability and great issue and if you see the all the four five that i have made uh, points you can see that maximum profit as the motive of production and the war driven economy makes the living unsustainable here science has provided us the uh, method to treat the effluent science has provided us the uh, how the waste can be disposed in a better way but because we are looking for maximum profit it, as our motive of production and uh, on the other hand the the war driven economy the, there is uh, uh, that makes the living in the earth unsustainable and there is another part there is a great challenge that is coming up today is uh, depleting fossil fuel stock fossil fuel is not uh, um, uh, 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 it's a limited stock so it is gradually depleting so how we can really uh, change to the other modes of energy gradually there is a, 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 a the actually a science must trust into those areas to uh, uh, alternate uh, greener uh, energies uh, than the fossil fuel uh, quicker is the better and uh, here really science and technology must move uh, hand in hand to uh, really make a better and sustainable um, future here i discussed uh, uh, some of the parts of uh, uh, raman spectra raman's achievements and uh, actually we uh, celebrate uh, this day uh, all over india uh, to propagate scientific temper among the students among the people uh, the questioning ability uh, so that students question and 
the ethics of science. We, we propagate the ethics of science. That is science for the humankind, science for the man, science for the society. The, uh, this, uh, uh, this ethics of science we propagate. And uh, with this, uh, I, I thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to uh, uh, put up my views on, uh, uh, on this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving me this. Uh, thank you, Haradwa, sir. Uh, it was short and sweet and very specific, uh, befitting the theme of this uh, um, this year's National Science Day. Really, it's uh, very nicely and very uh, elaborately you have explained um, how science and technology means uh, these two, uh, just like knowledge and its application. And uh, if it is uh, science is used judiciously, then it will be a uh, boon for mankind. Um, uh, it's always a good. And uh, for sustainable future, uh, these points are to be taken care of. Lack of organized waste management, yeah, waste rec uh, recycling. It should be judiciously waste uh, uh, recycling should be done. And uh, points to be uh, taken for untreated uh, effluent from uh, industry, uh, corrupt practices, practices uh, even uh, recent bots that war. But uh, science is always a boon if it is uh, used for the uh, benefit of uh, mankind. It is always good and for a sustainable future, it will be always helpful. So with a short notice, uh, Bharata sir, you have uh, accepted our request. So on behalf of Dhenkanal Science Center, wholeheartedly, I thank you for sparing your uh, valuable time and uh, enlightening all of us. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, hope on some, as you are uh, associated with a community programs, uh, popularization yes. of science amongst the communities. So in some other occasion, uh, we'll uh, take uh, your help. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Uh, it's, my, it's my pleasure. Thank you thank for you. Uh, uh, calling thank me. You. Uh, I will be a part of your endeavor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a great uh, job. Uh, Science Center and, uh, is doing always, even uh, one yeah. of the remote part of uh, uh, Odisha. Yeah. Um, uh, Odisha, even are, some uh, network is switch there. Uh, it's a very, even morning they have uh, repaired. Uh, now today we are facing a lot of difficulty. Uh, there is yes, some yes, network yes, yes, yes. issue. Uh, network okay, issue is uh, there. Uh, but, uh, hopefully now the situation has been improving. And uh, once this pandemic gets over, uh, we'll organize some program offline yeah. Uh, yeah, in offline. our uh, premises. Thank oh. you, sir. We'll end oh, this thank meeting. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar.